can I uh, I I see uh, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven members are there, is it? Or any others? Can you all just you know tell one by one? Open up your microphone and give your name and your background, please. Just the two words. Right, uh, Shay Shayha Amit. Shayha Amit. Yes, sir. Good morning. My name is Sheha Amit, and uh, I am. I just finished my A-levels, and I'm looking forward to my results. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Uzain Makin Samsudi. Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Hussein Makin, and my dream is to become a news reader one day. Right. Next, uh, uh, we have uh, yes, George. Uh, good morning, sir. My name is George Washington. Uh, at the moment, I am doing business. George Washington, uh, but uh, you you are not in uh, America, is it? Uh, uh, no, sir. In Sri Lanka. <laughs> right, right. The Sri Lankan or George Washington, right? Yes. Sir. Uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, Veroni Veron Veroni Fernando. Good morning, sir. Um, Veroni. I'm from I'm Veron Fernando from Gampaha. I'm 19 and I'm just after Taylor's. Right, right, good. Uh, Tulasi Tulas Chandraraj. Good morning, sir. I'm Tulasi. I'm from Jaffna. Uh, currently, I'm working for a non NGO, non government organization. Right, okay. Lashini Prathana. Good morning, sir. I'm Lashini Prathana. I'm from Mahavata Gama. I'm currently following a high national diploma. Right, Bashini. Ava, Ava Jita. Bashini. Good morning, sir. I'm Bashini Ava Jita. I'm from Mandarwala. And uh, I did my LLS and uh, I'm doing a diploma in cross cultural research. Right. Uh, Abdul Rahman Nazim. Good morning, sir. I am Abdul Rahman from Maligavatta. I'm after A level and doing some social activities and uh, doing media coordinator also. Right. Okay, uh, Abdul Rahman, just you know, keep that in mind. You know, your surrounding sounds are a little bit high, so make sure that you know you stay or maybe you uh, you stay in a very 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 silent place so that you can hear listen to me. Right. So all of you. Make sure that you know you stay. Uh, your background music, background sound is very important. So you just try to mute the background sound, or maybe in such a way that you know you just select a good place. Uh, that will be good for us because then otherwise uh, it will be disturbing. Right now, uh, so we'll we'll start off uh, this session uh, in this way. Right. Let me try this. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the uh, brief introduction about radio broadcasting. Uh, share screen. Can you all see this screen now? Anybody, anybody just say that in Yes, sir. Right, okay. Now you all have to take some notes if you have a small notebook. Uh, otherwise, they, uh, even uh, uh, the coordinator, Mr. Milroy, might give you uh, uh, the, uh, the soft copy of this, but you know, before that, it's better. It's better to, uh, yeah, it's better to take a short note while following this lecture. Okay, so you have a small bank paper with you, and just write down some of the points uh, uh, which we mentioned during this during this lecture. Okay, got it. You can, if you want some clarifications, you can ask in Singhala and Tamil, if necessary, right? Generally English, but uh, I have mentioned this. Can you all see here? Uh, this one, generally uh, English, Singhala and Tamil translations uh, will be provided occasionally and on request. Okay, right. So I will start the first one. So uh, now the radio broadcasting industry is the oldest form. It's like the, the traditional form uh, of 
of electronic communication. Now, uh, we have seen so many uh, media communication methods, but radio broadcasting is the oldest one because you know that was one of one of the pioneer station or pioneer method, media method, which has uh, 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 which has come into the world earlier, much earlier than any other media uh, method or uh, mechanism, right? So the radio is the basic equipment, which uh, uh, is the main component of the radio broadcasting. At the beginning of the 20th century, radio was purely an experimental medium as the innovators struggled with ways to transmit more code via the new wireless technology. But you know, slowly we built up, uh, maybe at the start of the 20th century, the radio had developed into a multi-billion multi dollar entertainment and information industry used by individuals around the globe. So that's a, a brief story about radio, but still we have to go uh, to say, how did this happen? Now the short waves, FMs and all other things. With the most recent generations having primarily grown up on FM radio, there is an abundance of uh, people who don't realize the vastness to radio broadcasts like AM, uh, FM, pirate radio, the terrestrial digital radio and satellite, right? So AM means now, I think now you should take a note. Now you should know what, what do you mean by, or what is meant by AM? Amplitude modulation. It's another wave format uh, where the radio, when, when you do the radio broadcasting, you uh, use one of the, uh, one of the basic element, basic element uh, of the wave format which is known as AM, it was the earliest form of radio broadcasting and this specific type of broadcasting got its name for how it emits radio waves, right? By manipulating the amplitude of the signal in conjunction with the amplitude of the signal that is being transmitted. So we also call it what is known as the medium wave band is what is used worldwide to deliver AM broadcast. So always remember, Make a note, a medium wave always relates to AM, right? So, uh, but also now in U Europe, you know, also use long wave band broadcasting. A great advantage it is that a fairly simplistic kind of sound that is emitted, uh, a type of signal can be easily detected. Now, anyway, whatever it is, you know, we use AM for uh, medium wave uh, broadcasting or medium wave band. Okay. Radio does not need uh, you to set time aside the way TV does. It. So as it does, the less of its audience being an audio only medium, uh, but TV requires the full attention of its audience due to audio and visual elements. So people can take the radio with them anywhere without missing out. Um, and they can make use of it at any time, whatever. Uh, while they were doing something else. Now, that's the, that's the key point of the radio broadcast. Now, you can use the radio and you don't need to look at the radio. You get my point? You don't need to look at the radio. Uh, you, can, you, can you can do your own work while listening to radio. But when it comes to TV, you need to look at the TV because it involves visual and broadcast both together so uh, in order to look at the visual i think you have to look at the team right in 90, 1895 a young italian named um, guillermo marconi invented what he called uh, the wireless telegraph while experimenting uh, in his parents uh, at tick and he used radio waves to transmit a Morse code and the instrument he used became or later became known as the radio. So that's the uh, brief industry or history of radio. How it, you know, how does the radio, the word radio uh, come into the world or maybe come into the dictionary? Now, I think uh, I personally say the Marconi is a person who created the word also, radio. The word radio came into existence uh, because of the Marconi's invention. 
right? Right. Now uh, we can also see uh, what are the basic features of radio. The latest 2019 survey results show the number of people listening to radio is continuing to increase. In Australia, over 10 million people listen to the commercial radio station for at least one hour every week of the year. Now, the, there is another feature. Radio is targeted. Radio allows messages to be tailored and localized to each audience. Advertisers can target their message to specific demographics and communities. <coughs> and geographic areas and around events and uh, genres in a market. But each radio station is operated with specific market segments in mind. Uh, so after a careful selection process, uh, your product or service will be advertised to your exact target market. So I think that's the target. When you when you create a target, the target audience means, you know, the radio can be reached or the radio can reach the target audience. That's the main key point. Uh, when you use radio. So that audience will listen to that radio. And then you can create your own advertisements and commercials based on that. Radio cuts through. Radio is the medium of the people spend the most time with the, throughout the day, providing ample opportunity for a message to reach its audience. But people carry out a wide range of activities while simultaneously listening to the radio. That's the key point. Now you can make a note, people carry out a wide range of activities while simultaneously listening, listening to the radio. That's what I said a little while ago. Uh, you know, you can do anything. You can do your own work while listening to radio. You don't need to see or you don't need to look at the radio. You don't need to focus at the radio because the radio broadcasting is clearly involved with your listening power. That's all. And media surveys always show the radio listeners are far less likely to tune out when ads come on the radio compared to television. Now, that's the thing. Now, when you get a hell of a lot of uh, advertisements on a television program, you will sometimes get bored and you will switch on to another or switch over to some other television channel. But radio listeners, when they get some advertisements in between, they don't... Uh, to tune on to another session channel because they are used to it and and that is not real that is not really disturbing their mind that's the main key point now uh, when you compare with the television and uh, television and uh, radio uh, you know when you get uh, advertisements on the radio it does not disturb you like on a television that's the key. It, you get my point, right? So ask yourself, how often uh, do you change channels or get up from your seat when the, the ads come on TV? Do you uh, do the same while listening to the radio? Now, this is a question to be asked by each and everyone. And you will answer definitely positively, very positively in favor of radio. Radio is the anywhere, anytime media. So that's uh, that's another key. You have to make a note of it. Huh? Given the radio's portability, advertisers have the opportunity to reach people on the go, on the go, giving them an edge over competitors. The accessibility of radio enables a listening to occur in places that other media may have difficulty reaching. For an example, you your target customers don't read a newspaper or a magazine while driving. But no, do they watch TV while working in uh, the garden? But it said that there are 50 million radios in Australia. That's an average of five devices per household. Today, radio even overlaps uh, with the phenomenon of digital media via downloadable radio station apps. Right. Coming back to this point again, I'm just reading this. It's a very interesting talk, point which you have to make a note, right? Now, right, 
Now, see, uh, accessibility of radio enablers, this need to occur in places that other media may have difficulty reaching, for an example. Now, from for an example, just make a note of this. Your target customers don't read a newspaper or a magazine while driving, correct? So that means that media is out, print media is out. Newspapers, magazines are print media, that is out. No, do they watch TV? No, because they don't watch TV also. So then that visual media is also out. So it said, so then what is left? It's only the radio. Radio is left. So you can you can see a very, very interesting example. You don't read newspaper while driving. So print media is out, right? And you don't watch TV while driving, right? So then the visual media is out. So the only media which is left is radio. You will listen to radio while driving. That you can do. You get my point? Right. So that's the key point. Radio is the pulse of the community. Therefore, now, now, while I think we have only reached about four points here, right? This is the fourth point I'm reading. Okay. So I have another few more points to go. Now, see, up to four points, you know, while even, even you know, reading up to four points, you would have understood one thing very clearly. Radio can reach a pretty large audience compared to TV audience and paper audience. Am I correct? Right? So then I think we have just passed only four points. So merely passing four points, we have understood a very clear message, which is radio can reach a pretty larger population in the world. <clears throat> right. Moving on to the fifth point. Radio is the pulse of the community. Radio is live and local, so it reflects the community. It's live, therefore it reflects the, common, uh, the, the present community. And people listen to the radio to find out what is happening now in their community, such as special events, news, traffic updates, weather reports, sports, and anything. Uh, it's more local than global. Even if there's a traffic jam, you know, they will let you know. If the bridge is closed, they will let you know over the radio. So interesting to note that many of the characteristics that uh, the new digital world has acts as your constant companion with your wherever with you wherever you are and whatever you do. Right. Number six, the radio offers promotional opportunities. Like what do you mean by promotional, uh, promotional opportunities? A live broadcast at your locations, sampling your product on air, running a competition. Promotions like this can be hard to do with social media, print or television. But radio can offer this sort of a target customer involvement at an affordable price. That's the key point. Huh? Make a note that at an affordable price. Now, TV cannot provide that. Even the papers cannot provide that. This is a portable price. And if, if it is done well, it can really personalize your product or service to your target customer. Right? So it's a basically a kind of a promotional instrument. Radio is influential. Radio is the medium to build up or build top of mind awareness. For example, careful time placement of ads can have a real impact on your call to action. In addition, a live read that offers a personal endorsement by a radio personality will add credibility to your product or service. Now see, now if you want to promote your product, you have to write an advertisement. The advertisement can be just in a, uh, published on a paper or can be uh, shown on a television or can be uh, can be inserted into a radio as an advertisement voice. But in radio, there is another special feature. Now, there is a radio jockey. We call it RJ, radio jockey. Radio jockey is the person who does the announcing. So if he is very energetic, he can use the same words and he can use his own style to present that particular advertisement. When he does it live, 
that will also give at some more points at some more value to that particular advertisement and which will in um, ultimately it will attract more customers more target audience that's what i'm trying to say and point number eight radio reaches your target customers with frequency frequency advertising works by repetition now these advertisements can be repeated in radio your target customer may well need to hear your promotion uh, three or four times before they respond to your call to action so you can repeat it in your, on your radio but on your paper if it is on a print paper you will only publish in one particular column of a particular page television you will you will just show that advertisement for 30 seconds during a small program uh, thereafter you will uh, have to wait for another repetition maybe you don't know how frequent it is to reach this level of frequency radio advertising is usually more cost effective that's the key point cost effective just uh, make a note cost effective now for a 30 second television advertisement it all depends on the peak covers and off peak covers in a peak cover for a 30 second advertisement you need to spend around 200,000 rupees right for off peak cover you have to spend around 100,000 rupees one per advertisement so for a radio advertisement for a 30 second radio advertisement uh, on a peak cover you need to spend only about 30,000 rupees for off peak cover you need to spend around 20,000 rupees See, so 30,000, 20,000, and uh, see the difference, 200,000, 100,000, big money. Radio is flexible and immediate. So radio commercials can be created quickly without the production and delays of other media. But copy can be produced and revised at short time, a short notice. A radio advertising campaign can be up and running within a week. Now, if you want to produce a radio advertisement, now I think if some of you are aware, you may understand one thing that you know, radio preparing a radio advertisement is much cheaper and easy in terms of money and time uh, compared to a TV advertisement. Now, see, a lot of lot of I think we need to we need to go into deep and understand what this radio, what are the advantage advantages of radio. A radio provides a strong call to action facility. A radio commissions can be selectively scheduled by day, park, and weekday, enabling messages uh, to be delivered close to purchase. And listeners can act on an advertiser's message and participate in station competitions. Now, even, even for the listeners to respond, radio is cost effective because they have to just dial one particular number and and participate in the program. Now, for a TV program, you may you may have a television, the radio, television, telephone, but still, uh, you know, the, the you you can you, on a, for a radio listener, it's very convenient for him to dial and stay there for some time. And even the live program can be extended uh, if you if necessary. You, the live program also can be extended. But for a TV program, you know, you can't simply extend a live program as you like. Okay. Right. So we have come to, we have reached the, the basic point or the basic segment of this radio. There are nine points we covered and we covered many, many important features. Right. So, uh, but before we move on to the reasons why radio is still popular. Now, even still popular means uh, we have so many other media uh, equipments or the media mediums or, uh, so, so many media uh, what do you call categories have come into this world we have uh, under under electronic media we have tv and then we have print media and then we have social media we have whatsapp we have viber and we have a uh, uh, facebook blog twitter so the uh, means all these uh, existence now we still say there are reasons, reasons why radio is still popular. So uh, we'll go into that and we'll discuss uh, what we have learned so far. Radio is portable. That's very important. The Nielsen's data shows. Nielsen is another analyst, data analyst. 
he shows, uh, he uh, collected some data. Um, and uh, the data shows that 69% of the weekly radio consumption is done outside of the home, primarily in the cars and at work. Correct? You don't, you don't listen to radio at home always. Now, 69% of your radio listening uh, is done uh, while driving in your car or at work. Right? At work, you keep the radio on the side and it just works. Audience numbers spike from 6 to 7 a.m. through uh, to 5 p.m., the average work day. And radio is free. Radio does not require any form of monthly subscription uh, due to being advertiser funded. Unlike many current media services, even podcasts are often on uh, sites such as Spotify, making radio a free alternative. So those are some of the most important features. Why the radio is still popular? Radio is adaptable. Radio adapts uh, with changing technologies and consumer trends. So it adapts. It does not. It, it is not the. It is not a, what you call uh, rigid or it's not stuck. Uh, it's it's not a closed technology. It's an open technology where it can accommodate any change or, or a kind of a, a, a enhancement at any time. So radio is now accessible through laptops, computers, phones, and even smart speakers. Radio is inclusive. So Nielsen's findings show the appeal of radio across the demographics, drawing large listener numbers across all ages, genders and ethnicity. A radio attracts 99% of Hispanic Americans, 98% of African Americans, 98% women aged 25 to 54, and 93% of teenagers aged 12 to 17. And uh, so radio has a variety of stations able to appeal to all types of audience. Right. right. So now we have come to that level also. Four reasons for radio to be popular state. Right. Now, uh, before we move on to the next uh, segment, uh, there are 15 reasons why radio is important. Uh, we just see, we'll have a small recap of what we have done so far. All right. Now tell me, uh, is anybody... Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, most of you must be making a note of it. Just tell me, you know, in your experience, have you come across radio listening and how do you feel the difference? Now you have uh, your handphone and you have your social media, Facebook, and uh, you also have uh, tweeters, blogs, and also for WhatsApp, and uh, you have internet. And then you have your papers, the newspapers, and then you have the television. Now, how do you see the radio? How many of you are still listening radio? Just uh, give your experience because you have to share your experience. If you are to, if you are to, yeah, uh, continue with this course. Now, how many of you know the things what we have discussed so far? Now, uh, just you have to answer to my question, that's all. Uh, uh, Shreya Amit, how do you see the difference? Uh, so most of the points you mentioned, I've uh, come across it because I did media for A-level. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, am, I wouldn't consider myself an avid radio listener, but I do listen to the radio when it comes to the, the last five minutes of an hour news, the, the early news and also music so that way radio is quite fun and so you mentioned a point that we don't usually change channels when advertisements come on radio that's very true we tend to tune out and ignore the advertisements because we are looking forward to the program that's yet to come and mm -hmm. the radio jockeys are also they keep you hooked on to content so that's also a very uh, that's the experience i have felt with radio thank you thank you good george Uh, sir, I'm All right. Uh, sir, all the people who are studying, all the people who are studying, all the people 
இந்த ரேடியோவை பயன்படுத்தக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழல் இருக்கு சார் மற்றது ரெண்டாவது விஷயம் சார் சார் நீங்க சொன்னது போல எங்களுடைய அன்றாட வேலைகளை நாங்க செய்யற பொழுது எந்த விதமான டிஸ்டர்பன்ஸ் இல்லாம இந்த ரேடியோவை எங்களால எங்களுக்கு கேட்க முடியும் அந்த ரெண்டு காரணங்கள் பாஷினி பாஷினி உசைன் மக்கீன் சம்சுலி உசைன் மக்கீன் சம்சுலி எஸ் ஐ ஃபீல் தட் when we use task there and also it gives an opportunity to uh, imagine something beyond uh, limited knowledge all right good uh, veron fernando bashidi right tulasi tulasi chandra raj uh, abdul rahman azim we have the uh, lashini lashini prarthana uh, yeah sir uh, when i'm uh, i don't listen to radio that much but when i'm listening to it i feel very free and actually it cre- helps to create our imagination uh, about the content and uh, it actually feel really free right right you can you can speak to me in english or maybe if you find it difficult you can speak to me in singhala and tamil right right it all uh, it depends on uh, your uh, convenience right right now let's look at uh, yeah tulasi uh, who is this yeah uh, abdul rahman azim okay right now we'll uh, continue with the other uh, side of it 15 reasons why radio is important now i think we might repeat the same thing some of the, the points what we have covered so far but still these 15 points are very important radio has a rich history now radio is one of america's longest standing and most influential mass media the mass media is very important like just to make a note mass media there are only few uh, instruments which get involved with mass media communication one of that instrument is radio it's the only entertainment medium that has been with us from the beginning of 20th century and it still remains relevant today as we struggle to keep up with changing technology social norms and consumer trends the radio's popularity has endured decades and it continues to enjoy widespread success among various democracies now that i think you can understand right uh, it's it's i think basic thing i think what we have covered uh, before uh, so to be even with all changing technology social reforms and norms and uh, consumer media trends the radio still remains right radio has worldwide recognition Now, radio is everywhere both 90% of our souls in the us own at least one radio that you can see even in sri lanka we have that and by 2020 it is estimated that there will be more than 30 billion global users i think 2020 we have passed to the entity i think we can simply accept that particular fact that you know there are about 30 billion global users the worldwide recognition of radio's most popular broad station broadcasting station can help businesses reach new audiences with less cost right and uh, radio keeps us informed and that's uh, that's one thing i think we have uh, seen before 
a little bit, but now it's in deep. If we can go through that particular point, we, it will give us some more information. Radio brings us current events, traffic and weather reports, local news and more. Most television stations, they use radio broadcast to provide background information about the story they are covering on television. See, that's another key point. Make a note of it. Radio keeps us up to date and up to date and well informed from morning until night. Radio stations can be counted on to keep listeners informed about what's going on. Because, you know, we a listening power, most of us have a better, flexible listening power. That is the key point. The radio is still remaining or still existing in the world. Radio is accessible. All those smartphones and similar devices may be uh, the latest trend. Traditional radio still offers accessibility that most consumers appreciate. Today's radio broadcasts are available in approximate, uh, mainly in languages and in dialects, making them accessible to from anywhere around the world. So that's I think radio is accessible, but TV is not like that, right? And newspapers also say. Radio provides entertainment. Now, if you look at it from the golden age of radio in the 1930s through the 1950s, Americans grew to love popular programming on the family wireless. Right? Today, with over 15 million American homes now using smart speakers, uh, people enjoy a non-intrusive entertainment opinion while still staying informed and connected. See, that's very important, interesting. It over 15 million American folks. Now they are comparing everything with America. Radio helps in education. For children, radio can be a valuable teaching tool. A large portion of kids' uh, programming is uh, designed to young children develop their cognitive abilities and literacy skills. Radio can alert of emergency. That I think is a part of the update. Listening to the radio alerts people upon emergencies and uh, natural disasters. Now, you can also understand one thing, the radio waves are very fast compared to the TV waves. The TV, I think you need to send more data from the, from the uh, what do you call from the uh, from the source or from the root for the radio or the radio broadcast root I think root you don't need to spend more data you need to spend only a few signals the immediacy of radio can help spread information faster than any other medium providing the public with life-saving updates before traditional news outlets are able to cover them. Now, since radio requires no data or time, it can provide instant updates on breaking news. It's also an integral part of a disaster relief efforts and emergency broadcast, which makes it invaluable in a natural disaster or other major crisis. Now, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty clear. I think if you have any doubts, you can ask. Radio reaches a large audience. That, of course, I told you before, with 92% of the Americans listening to AM or FM. FM uh, is, I think we said a AM means amplitude modulation. Uh, FM means frequency modulation. Make a note of it. Huh? FM frequency modulation. The latest trend is using FM. FM frequency modulation is very fast and very effective compared to AM. We reach large larger audience while still maintaining uh, the across the various station types. Radio is cost effective and interactive. That also we covered earlier, but very interesting. Radio is the most cost effective form of marketing for any business. Make it a, make a point, make a note of it. It can also be interactive if the marketeers decide to go on live. Uh, on a show and uh, talk about topics related to their businesses, products, and events. 
The commercials can target to various demographies through local radio stations, which makes uh, it easy to get in touch with more potential clients within the target audience. Thus, radio advertising offers many benefits to potential clients and consumers while being cost effective for businesses. It provides a personal touch that direct marketing or television commercials cannot offer. That's very important. Huh? Radio works on the go. What do you mean by that? You don't have to be in front of your radio to listen. That's the key. That's the key. Radio programming can be accessed anywhere, anytime, right? On any radio gadget. With a simple transistor radio, you have access updates and plays of the day from major sporting events of the world. Radio is a part of a daily life. The majority of Americans in all age groups spend between one and four hours listening to the radio each day. It is an integral part of their daily routines and lifestyles for people. Even with the rise in mobile devices and other technologies, most listeners still turn to traditional radio for their entertainment and information needs. See, so the Americans have that taste. I think Sri Lanka also. Sri Lankans also have the same taste. Radio provides a source of income. Uh, that's another key point, which we have not covered before. Aside from providing consumers with useful, interesting information and entertainment, radio has provided people with a source of income. People have been able to make careers for themselves, the radio world, by hosting their own shows. Right? And in addition to the entertainment factor, radio is a source of income for listeners and broadcasters. Radio evolves with technology. Now, radio, I think I, if you say that, you know, if I say radio is still existing, that means radio is evolving with the latest technology. If it does not support, or if it is not comparable with the technology, then it will, it would have gone long time back. The radio continually evolves to meet the needs of the general public, and it is not just one single device, but a vast spectrum of opportunities that can be tailored to specific audiences and used in several ways. In an era where marketing demands precise information about consumers, a radio provides access to listeners across demographies, demographies and from age and gender to education and income levels. Radio broadcasting has a global reach that I think we covered earlier, but it is a very good word to use or a phrase to use. With over 100 countries and 33 languages that we see broadcast, the radio has a truly global reach. That's true. The radio reaches over 5 billion people in the world every day. Make, make a note of it. Huh? 5 billion people, 5 new billion people, or maybe sometimes in the same people, but 5 billion people, which is comparable. Television. Radio impacts society by creating awareness. For communities where access to technology is limited, radio remains one of the primary methods for receiving important messages. And radio through its shows can highlight many issues and create awareness among the public for various social issues. Right. So we have covered 15 uh, reasons why radio is important. Now we'll come back to, again, to the main point, right? Okay, now, uh, okay, uh, Veron, Veron, tell me what have you gathered so far? What have you gathered so far? Veron? Vashini? Uh, Hussein? Uh, why radio is important and why it's, it is still popular? Right. And how it's okay. familiar for us? Mm -hmm. 
What else? I think we have covered a lot, Pradeep. Vashini, you can speak in English, Singhala, or any language. I think right now we are into this media course. Each and everyone should be able to speak out, right? Now, if you don't speak out, even through this Zoom session, how can you get rid of your stage fear? Uh, I mean, we have the physical classes, one-to-one, -one, face to face. So make use of the Zoom session to get rid of your stage fear. Okay. All right, Usain, Usain. Lashini Pratana. Um, I get that about uh, what is radio and uh, how it is popular and why it is important. Actually, uh, I didn't know that the 5 billion people uh, in the world listen to radio every day. That is new information to me. And the cost of uh, promotions, I get right. that. Uh, Abdul Rahman Azim. Right. Uh, Shaya, Shaya, what, what have you got to say? Uh, so, including what everybody else mentioned. I also realized that um, radio, uh, what is it, uh, ra radio being uh, adapting to the technology and also the radio being, um, what is it, has an inclusive, uh, like it's accessible, it's accessible. That is both the, similarly like the same point because radio is now available on everybody's phone and that makes it more easily accessible to everybody. And I guess that's what makes up for the 5 billion people, 5 mm. billion. Five billion, five billion, right? Okay, right. Uh, any others who have, I think, missed out? I think, I think Bashini missed out. Thanks, uh, Abdul Rahman, Nazi. Uh, George? George? Right, now, if you don't speak out, uh, I, I just personally feel that you should uh, improve it. And if you don't speak out, you know, the media subject, but the course, what you have selected is not suitable for you, right? So remember, you should, you should speak out first. If you, whatever it is, whether it is right or wrong, now we are not going to punish you, right? This is the course. And this is the course where, you know, you have come into this picture or you have uh, started, you selected this course because to learn something new. So when you learn something new, you may make mistakes, true. So we are there to tolerate, right? And uh, remember that you are learning something new. Am I correct? So uh, make use of this opportunity. Don't miss it out. Because we, when we started our media career, we didn't get this opportunity. It's, it was only a one-way traffic. The lecturers used to come and they used to train a little, but we are not supposed to ask any questions. We just finish it off and as soon as possible, we just get out from the classroom. But uh, here, the situation is different. We are giving an opportunity to the candidates or the students to open up their mouth. So that is also another training. It's another training given in this particular class or Zoom session, uh, which is a part of this course, but which is not mentioned in the course outline. Remember? So, so make use of this uh, situation. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Do you have any questions before we step into the next session? Any questions? You can ask me in English or Singhala or Tamil. Because get get the picture clear first. Did you did you get some information and knowledge about radio today up to now? 
it's I think exactly about one hour and five minutes gone from the start. Uh, we're on. Uh, we're on. Uh, Lashini Prata. Yes, yeah, sir. What, what, what did you learn? Um, what? Yeah, as I mentioned, I learned about many things, especially that the 5 billion paper. Uh, and also, they cover like uh, 100 countries and 33 languages. And about mass media, radio is one of the uh, one of the mass media equipment and uh, actually I didn't think that radio is that much popular currently because the world is uh, like digitalized currently um, so I learned so much about that uh, George Radio Patina Pudidana Karina and Rea Katrukonda, Wondre AM, FM, Adepla Alirikra and Unmehel Ethan and Adihala, the Prasitama, Prince Sir, you could Sir, you could Sir, you could Sir, Sir, you could Sir, you could Sir, you could Sir, you could Sir, 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 America, oh, America, America, America select one of the Karnum, America on the common Puduan country and Abuja. We link in the Taravula and Angadis are on the session. Right? Okay. Veron, Veron, Shaya, yeah, Veron. Another thing I got was radio is not time wasting actually when you uh, watch television or use social media you have to pay your complete attention and entire time on it but uh, when you uh, listen to the radio you can uh, engage in your day to day activities at the same time right now uh, no, knowing this information uh, for the last 50 minutes or so 55 minutes or so uh, right Shaya, tell me, you know, did you did you take a decision, or are you going to take a decision in future to uh, involve radio in your life for at least for some time uh, if you have not experienced before? Uh, so one of my dream was to be a radio jockey. Actually, I love doing that job. It sounds so, so interesting. What, so what sort of a decision you have taken? Uh, after after going through this uh, session after going through this session i think it's more important to pay attention to radio there are so much of opposite like different uh, it targets various audiences and you're not you're not only focusing on one specific like not only today's news but it could also be something that happened quite some time ago but something that we missed and that makes it uh, interesting right do you uh, do you do you uh, do you enjoy speaking to the audience uh, today, now including myself and the other students. Do you enjoy speaking to the audience today? Hello? Yeah. Uh, yes, now, sir. You, right, now you, you put yourself as a radio jockey today and you now imagine that you, know, you are broadcasting something and you are speaking to the audience. The audience are myself, Milroy and the other students, right? The students are there. So do you enjoy that you, know, you are speaking to can you imagine that you know you're talking to a radio or maybe radio microphone and you just tell what have you learned so far from this particular session just use only about two minutes uh, okay so i'll give it a shot okay but, you so... know, then, then 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 you should you know you should always keep this in mind you should have your own accent you should have your own style you should have your own presentation style. You should have your voice modulation. You should try something, but we don't, yeah, I, 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 I know that, you know, you have not been trained, but now with this information, you, you think yourself that you are RG, RJ, and uh, see what have you uh, got to say. 
Okay, sir. I'll give it a shot. Okay, so good morning, everybody. And today on a special program, we've come across a very interesting lesson, actually something that's based on something we'd never really think of. But today's lesson was our very own radio lesson. And uh, today we caught up on some things that we never actually thought radio could actually have. We all, we, uh, we came across a very interesting fact that most people were taken back by, but did you actually know radio was listened to by over 5 billion people on a daily basis? You heard that right, a daily basis. Radio is a medium that can be used anywhere and anytime. There's no real purpose for you to pick up a radio, but rather you could just turn it on and listen to it while you do your job at the time. So this gives this its multitasking ability, which makes radio a more likable medium to anyone and everyone. Radio is not only based on just one person. You could be in your 20s, 30s, or even 40s and still enjoy the radio because every channel has something for you. For example, if you're in your 20s and love listening to modern music, then here you go. There's a channel just for you like Kiss FM or Sun FM, which portrays different music programs and even gives you a countdown of the top 30 music songs that go on a monthly basis. If you're in your 30s and love to know about the economy or the political situation of the country, then there you have it. Every hour, we have a five-minute news broadcast that gives you the daily updates of the local or international news that goes on. If you've missed it, don't worry. You can catch it up in the next hour. If you missed today's news and you hopefully won't get to listen to it, then there you go. Another opportunity to listen to it and catch up on the news you missed. Uh, so is that okay? Very good, 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 good. good. Now, uh, I think, uh, I, you know, I, I, I personally feel that, you know, you have come, up, uh, come, uh, come onto the stage, I think, very well and uh, um, pretty well uh, presentation because now this uh, also shows you that you have some confidence that, you know, you can, you can improve on your uh, presentation skills and also the announcing skills in future. So that will be a good start for you. Now, uh, let's look at the others, uh, uh, Hussein, Maki and Samsudin. Now, now this is where you can show your accent and now while speaking to me, you show your accent and you show your presentation style and then later on you can develop. Right. Uh, Abdul Rahman Razi. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is this is where we need some you know uh, guts for the people to come out first. Because if you don't come out at this stage, then when are you going to come out, right? Uh, Lashini. Uh, yeah, uh, I just joined today. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, now I would like to see. Now, I, can I can I ask you some question? Now, yeah, can sure. you can you? Now, I personally feel that, you know, you are comfortable with English, but also you may be comfortable with singer. So why don't you mix up both and come up with a short description? Mix up both? Yeah, mix up both and come up with a pretty, pretty um, uh, short description about what you have learned. Okay. Um... Mix up both, huh? Both. Okay, should I... So... Is it okay if I start with English and, and yeah, say in, Malay? Yeah, in between, in between. Good, good. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, Yamotana. Other peak in a other peak in a garden away, other pitain and good up at the cut. Saha, interesting lesson, the cut, which is about radio history and a pia the Iganagana, Mukad radio Kiane. Saha radio history. So today, Apitiki Kataraina, Ape Sir Jarajan Logaraj. He has a quite a 25 or 22 years of experience on radio. He's a great model for learners as a beginners. So actually, we he taught us today about so many things about history and about radio. Uh, so he taught us about uh, uh, about like 
how interesting is radio, how popular it is, and uh, how huge of a uh, huge audience that does the radio, radio catch up every day. Uh, uh, I don't know if you know that it's a, uh, so average a day, average a day, uh, over 5 billion people in the world reach radio and listen to radio every day. So it's a fact. Uh, you might didn't know that it's a new thing. Uh, it's a fact. Uh, you should, uh, it's a quite interesting. So my, uh, most of you all think that uh, radio uh, is doesn't catch up like uh, catch up these days like other medias like social media there's tv and there's all of that uh, youtube uh, social media and instagram facebook so all of uh, with all of these you might uh, think that radio doesn't catch up like that but uh, but uh, breaking that breaking the fact that uh, radio is uh, still reach all 5 billion people every day. Uh, so that's a quite interesting fact. And uh, as you know, radio is, uh, uh, radio is uh, affordable and radio is, uh, we, can, uh, we can listen to the radio anywhere, anytime, if you are doing work, if you are, if you are in a, if you are in a hike, uh, if you are in a like yard, you can still you can listen to radio and um, and keep up uh, keep up your uh, entertainment still. Uh, thank right. you. Good, good, very good. Now, uh, now this is a good opportunity, and this uh, particular session is being recorded, huh? mind you, right? So now uh, I think uh, uh, Mr. Milroy will know. Once it is recorded, you know, I have, get, I have uh, taken some voice clips from your side that will also show one more thing. When you go along on this post, uh, your voice counts a lot. When it comes to radio broadcasting, radio announcing or TV announcing, your voice is very important. So I'm just checking your voice slowly. And I have found two voices, three voices here. I think I will give my verdict. Uh, before uh, maybe at the end of this class, uh, who and who will push forward with the voice? Because don't change your voice when when I'm uh, when I ask you to speak, just speak uh, in your original tone and original voice. Don't change your voice like what I heard before. Now everybody, I think they are using their original voice and they are not imitating, right? So take this opportunity to just speak out a few words about uh, the things what you have learned so far. Then uh, we can also judge uh, and see that you know how many of you will succeed in the voice training because voice training will be another important component down the line. Right. So if we can't we can't train another uh, we can't train an unprofessional voice or a kind of a uh, like a substandard voice. Substandard voice we can't train at all because that is a uh, born defect. That's a born defect. But it's a, if it is a standard voice. We can train a lot and make it, make it, we can polish it out. We can polish it and make it more uh, professional. So that is also one of the important points, you know, uh, we ask you to speak out. Right. George. George. Yes, sir. Right. Now, uh, do you need some time? Uh, are you comfortable with, are, are you comfortable with English or maybe you want to speak in English and Singhala or Tamil together? Uh, Tamil, sir. Only Tamil. Only Tamil, right? Only Tamil, or, or you want to mix up with another language? Uh, little bit uh, mix the English, sir. Right, good, good. You want some time, or maybe uh, you want some time to prepare, or maybe can you give it a shot? No, now I can, sir. Right. Okay, go. வணக்கம் நேர்களே நேரிலும் கூட நாங்கள் வானொலியை பற்றிதான ஒரு சுவாரஸ்யமான கதையை பற்றி நாங்கள் பார்க்க போகிறோம் வானொலி என்று சொல்கின்ற பொழுது உங்கள் அனைவருக்குமே தெரிந்த ஒரு விடயம் அதே போல ஒவ்வொரு நாளும் நீங்கள் இதை கேட்டு இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை நீங்கள் கேட்டுக்கொண்டிருப்பதும் கூட இந்த வானொலியின் மூலமாக வானொலி என்று சொல்கின்ற பொழுது நாங்கள் ஒரு சில காரியங்கள் மாத்திரமே எங்களுக்கு ஞாபகம் வரும் ஆனால் இதிலே அநேக காரியங்கள் நன்மைகள் இந்த வானொலியின் மூலம் எங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கின்றது வானொலி என்று சொல்கின்ற பொழுது உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா இதை யார் கண்டுபிடித்தார் என்று சொல்லி 
இத்தாலியை சேர்ந்த ஒரு இளைஞன் மார்கோனி என்கின்ற ஒரு நபர் தான் இந்த வானொலியை கண்டுபிடித்தார் உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா ஒரு நாளைக்கு உலக அளவிலே எத்தனை பேர் இந்த வானொலியை கேட்கிறார்கள் என்று சொல்லி நான் சொன்னால் நீங்கள் நம்புவது உங்களுக்கு கடினமாக இருக்கும் ஐந்து பில்லியன் மக்கள் ஒரு நாளிலே இந்த வானொலி நிகழ்ச்சிகளை வானொலியை செவிமடுத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் அதே போல இந்த வானொலி என்று சொல்லுகின்ற பொழுது நேர்களே இதிலே பலவிதமான நன்மைகள் எங்களுக்கு இருக்கின்றன குறிப்பாக நாங்கள் இது எந்த இடத்திலுமே கேட்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலை இருக்கிறது நாங்கள் படிக்கும் பொழுது நாங்கள் வாகனத்திலே செல்கின்ற பொழுது நாங்கள் வேலை செய்கின்ற பொழுது அல்லது நாங்கள் எந்த ஒரு சில வேலையில சில பேர் தூங்கும் பொழுது கூட தாங்கள் தூங்குவதற்காக கூட இந்த வானொலியை பயன்படுத்துகிறவராக இருக்கிறார்கள் ஆகவே வானொலி இருக்கின்ற பொழுது இதிலே பலவிதமான நன்மைகள் இருக்கின்றன குறிப்பாக இந்த வானொலியிலே வர்த்தக சம்பந்தமான காரியங்களை மேற்கொள்வதற்கும் கூட இந்த வானொலி மிக இலகுவாக இருக்கிறது அதே போல இந்த வானொலி என்கின்ற பொழுது எங்களுக்கு ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட நேரத்தை செலவழித்து இதை நாங்கள் கேட்க வேண்டும் என்று இல்லை நாங்கள் என்ன செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோமோ அந்த வேலையை செய்து கொண்டே இதை நாங்கள் செவிமடுக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலை காணப்படுகிறது அதே போல இந்த வானொலியை நாங்கள் கேட்கின்ற பொழுது எங்களுக்கு குறிப்பிட்ட ஒரு மொழி அறிவோ அல்லது பிரத்யேக அறிவோ என்று ஒரு அவசியம் என்று ஒன்று இல்லை நேர்களே இதை எந்த ஒரு சமூகத்தினரும் எந்த ஒரு சூழ்நிலையில் இருந்தாலும் கூட இந்த வானொலியை கேட்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலைகள் காணப்படுகிறது அப்ப இப்படியான அநேக காரியங்கள் இந்த நாளில நாங்கள் அஹ் விவாதித்திருக்கிறோம் தொடர்ந்து கூட இப்படியான நாங்கள் தகவல்களை உங்களுக்கு நாங்கள் வழங்க தயாராக இருக்கின்றோம் நன்றி பாஷிரி பாஷினி and uh, now usain said uh, i really love your session i'm not ready to speak because i'm having a phlegm and blocked nose uh, right suffering right okay excuse usain makin uh, samsudin bashini right now you are getting yeah you don't get this opportunity again right now we'll continue with the where we left right. hello sir yeah i yeah, don't yeah. want to miss this opportunity opportunity but even though i'm having something shall i try it uh, you know uh, but wait for a second i will finish the other session off and then you ah, okay. try right you try right okay let me let me finish a, a few more things right okay, but I, i hope that you all are making a note of it right everything right make a note huh? if you okay. if you if you find it difficult to write something you just tell me to stop at some point so that you know i can i will stop for you to write okay right now we'll continue huh? right now uh, just look at these uh, channels now these are the famous channels in sri lanka now you can you can see there are two two meter bands fm most of them are fm fm 89.6 89.8 is city fm and alai fm is 91.4 and efm is 88.3 if in there is 90.2 and 90.24 you can see the difference is only 0.2 so that's the latest system digital system gold fm 93 and 93.2 hero 96.1 and 96.3 is uh, it a tnl fm 89.1 89.3 kandurate fm 97.3 97.5 kandurate sevia 97.3 hirule fm 96.6 kiss fm 96.9 kothmale fm 98.4 Lakh FM 106, 106.2. Lakh Kanda 93.5, 93.7. Lakh Viru uh, 105.2, 105.4. Light FM uh, 87.6, 87.8. Net FM 94.8, 95. And Radio Sri Lanka 97.4, 97.6. So now you can tune in, and it's, you know when you have some free time, you can tune in one of these uh, frequencies and see how are they. uh presenting uh, the things and, uh, and these are web radio some of them are most of them are uh, radios and some of them are web radios also you find some web radio and check uh, how they present uh, the news and the other things as well right so these are some of them if you have time you know we will just go through one or two if we have time right so you can you can use these links uh, to you know see the uh, fms there right and the radio uh, presentation okay these are some of them are in singhala iru fm is in singhala slb is used by in singhala english tamil and uh, and the shakti fm you have it in tamil fm radio fm derana is in singhala right 
Now, uh, let's look at this source, this angle. How here is a list of all uh, the necessary equipment you need in a radio studio. Now, have you, is, uh, tell me, is anyone visited a radio studio before? Have you got some experience of, you know, uh, visiting a radio studio? No one, right? Okay. Now, in a studio, radio studio, radio broadcasting studio, you should have these things, microphone, microphone processor, mic arm, uh, headphones, headphone distributor, mixer console, audio processor, active monitor speakers, and many more. But I'm just, I just mentioned a few, right? So these are the items, and on the right side, you can see the photograph, uh, which has all these necessary items, okay? Okay, now, these are some of the uh, equipments you need in a radio studio. Got it? Now you can see this also. See, these are the, 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 the latest technology. Now, when we, I'm from SLBC, when I go to SLBC, I have a studio. When I go to the studio, I will see this kind of a setup. Microphone, everything is there, the computer, and in the computer, we operate and we select songs and play. And we also uh, do announcements through the microphone. Right. Now there, there are some headphones. Headphones are there for you to listen to your own personal voice uh, without uh, you know, getting distracted uh, by the external voices. That's a, that's the reason you always put a headphone. Because I wanted to enjoy my own voice and also I just wanted to concentrate on my talk, on my uh, speech. So that is the main reason we put headphones. So that uh, it will help us to focus on one point and also to listen to your own voice. So you can make a note of it. Right. Any questions? I think I have finished, but you know, I need, I have something to do with you all. But you know, I just you know, uh, you know, finish this uh, at this point because I wanted uh, another brief from you all, one by one, and to see that you know this particular recording will be a very useful recording for the College of Journalism uh, because they will see your voice also by just following, merely following the first uh, session of your media course, uh, you have opened up your mouth and you have uh, spoken a little. So that is also very important. Okay. Right, now tell me, okay, uh, who, Samsudhi? Yes, sir. Uh, so I always want to work in English medium, but uh, when I'm into news, I, I love t Tamil also. So shall I read a new script in Tamil? Yeah, but uh, you use your accent and your presentation skill and don't go on one particular tone. Tone in the sense, you know, just, you know, don't speak. Uh, you should have some ups and downs. And also, uh, you know, use, uh, if you can, you can mix up the languages, English and Tamil together, right? Okay, I, sir. Right, go ahead. Ranjan Ramanaikavaka, Oliver Dangal, Thirdly Potida Muriade Munal Parliament Urupina, Ranjan Ramanaika, Oliver Dangalaka, Thirdly Potida Muriade, Nizia Mecher Vijedas, Rajapaksha, Tervitular Nifantani Haludan, Avaraka, Munipa, sorry, Manipa, Valanga Patula Maye, is that kind of carnament, a major Chutikati Hirat. In the word Arasil Vadium, Arma the Kalangal Kamil, Sirail Adeka Patal, our Kudurme, Elvadangal Kuratisaya Padum, Enum, Arasila Mepin, Mupatnale Perivin Kurl, Manipu Valanga Patal, Jaranaya Urme Valanga Padum, Enum, Ranjan Ramnaikavaka, Arasila Mepin, Mupatnale Perivin Paddy in the Satam Amal Patapatula. So that's all, sir. But I'm sorry, I'm not well today. Okay, okay. Uh, I, 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 in fact, you know, expected something, you know, what we have done so far. If you a small description about what we have done so far. Anyway, right. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. But you have tried your best. Good. Okay. Now, do you have any questions? So far, what we have covered, I think I have finished uh, pretty uh, in a early. Yes, uh, sir, I have a question. Shall I ask? 
Yeah, yeah. No. So you told that uh, daily basis there are five billion uh, active users of radio, right? So when mm -hmm. we comparing the last decades, uh, are the uh, use users of radio increasing or decreasing, sir? No, I think that's what I said at one point. You know, uh, you know, it still remains, still remains. Uh, you know, I don't say it's increase or a decrease, uh, but maybe a little bit of a decrease is there, but still remains. That's very important. So you, uh, I think it still exists. Existence yes. is very, very important. Yes, but sir. Thank you. You can't avoid it. A radio cannot be avoided. No. So that that is that is that is the main point here. Right. Uh, any other questions? Uh, you can ask me in Sinhala or Tamil or whatever. No issue. Maybe uh, no. This is a start, and uh, the the things what we have covered. I, I think personally, I think you know for this day, it's enough. And uh, you will have to take a note. And if you miss out some of the notes, I think you can get it from Mr. Milroy. Uh, or if you want, I can just you know go go behind and see that you know um, which slide you want. Then I can just uh, show it. Uh, any uh, any other questions?